What you're looking at here is the largest bowl of toxic soup in America today, an environmental disaster that seemingly has no limits. Not only billions of gallons of liquid sewage filling up the Tijuana River Valley, but tons of toxic plastics that float across the border and stop here. This water should not be here. This should be the last place that we see water at the levee. All this water should be in the, the center channel and, and flowing. Even though this environmental catastrophe is coming over the border from Mexico, once it gets here, it is our problem. And when you're talking about removing tons of toxic plastic, it's a big one. So this trash here, it's, it's washed in from the channel with the flows and it's accumulated here at the North Levee. And we want to clean this up. We've, met, we've mobilized some equipment from some of our field offices in Texas. Uh, they're out here already. And, but we're just waiting for the ground to dry out so we can bring the equipment in. In the past few days, heavy machinery has arrived from Texas. The federal agency in charge of sewage control out here will now be taking the lead on the River Valley cleanup. We have our own equipment. Like I said, we have, we've already mobilized some equipment, just waiting for the conditions to uh, be right so we can get in here and do the work. The timing of the cleanup will be dependent on Mother Nature. If it keeps raining, the valley will keep filling. Putting heavy machinery out there right now would be like sending them into a toxic quicksand. The fact that all this water is right here at the North Levee um, is, is, is proof that there, there is a problem with the course of the river. And then over the course of time, every time it rains, uh, sediment comes down the river. And over time, the course of the river has changed. and. It's not flowing correctly.